everyone welcome back and if you guys are new here then welcome my name is free if you guys have never been to my channel today's video is going to be on this makeup look that I'm wearing right now and it is using all drugstore products and I did this makeup look to kind of transition us all into fall it's been a little cooler here in North Carolina so I am wearing a little sweater even though it's hot as balls outside right now but it was cold like two days ago I'm just kind of embracing the fact that it was cold <laughs> hopefully it starts getting colder and colder so I can start wearing more and more sweaters because I love my sweaters and I hate the heat but anyways while you guys are watching this tutorial don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and join my YouTube family um, also hit that notification bell so you don't any don't miss any notifications on my new videos and let's just go ahead and get started into this makeup look for primer I'm using my Milani prime perfection face primer and I'm just going to put that all over my face I have really, really big pores, so I'm going to use this e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer as well, but only right here, like on my cheeks and on my nose, just to smooth those out a little bit more and make sure that you can't see my pores from a thousand miles away like you usually can. I don't know what is going on, but my skin has been breaking out so bad this week in places that it usually does not break out. I have no idea why, but... So now that my skin hopefully looks like a baby's ass, nice and smooth, except it doesn't because I'm breaking out everywhere for no good reason. Um, I'm going to break out. I'm going to apply my eyeshadow primer because I'm going to start with my eyes first. Um, so I'm using my Photo Focus Concealer by Wet n Wild, and this one's in the color um, Light Ivory, in case you guys were wondering. To blend it all in, I'm just going to use this Real Techniques Beauty Blender sponge thing. And... Make sure that it's all evenly in there. I'm setting my eyeshadow primer now with this Wet n Wild Contour Conch. Whew. I obviously cannot speak today. My contour kit, and I'm just going to use this like white lighter shade right here um, and set where I put that Wet n Wild concealer. So for the eyes, I'm using my Carly by Bell BH Cosmetics palette. I love this palette so, so much. If you guys are on my channel often, you do see this a lot in my drugstore tutorials just because it's such a good palette and... I don't know, I just love this palette. So I'm going to use this lighter shade right here as my transition shade to begin with. And the brush that I'm gonna use is my Morphe M441 brush. You guys already know I'm gonna cut the inner corner, so I'm going to use that same concealer that we did just to prime our eyelids. Our, our eyelids, Lord almighty, what am I saying? Um, and I'm going to just put a little bit on each eye and go ahead and just cut that crease. So right in the middle of the lid where my light and dark kind of mix, I'm going to use this silvery purple color right here. And the brush that I'm going to use is my Sigma Concealer F70 brush to apply it. I'm going to deepen the outer corner a little bit more using that dark purple shade once again and the same Morphe M433 brush just because I feel like it lost it a teeny tiny bit once we went in with that concealer. On the inner corner of the lid, I'm going to use this white shade right here on that same flat concealer brush, the F70 from Sigma. I'm not sure if I'm gonna wear a wing on my eye yet, so I'm just going to do my lashes real quick. The ones I'm using are my Ardell Wispies, so I'm going to put them on and then I'll be right back in just a second. But 10 years later, the eyelashes are on. And now I'm going to move on to foundation before I complete the eye look. So the two that I'm going to use, I'm going to mix these two together. Um, it's a CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation and my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. And the reason I'm using two is because I really want that full coverage effect, but this one's way too dark. So this one's in the color 720 and this one's way too light. And this one's in the color zero. So I'm just going to put a couple dots of each one and then mix it together. And the brush that I'm using to apply this is my Sigma Flat Kabuka, Kabuka, <laughs> Flat Kabuki um, F80 brush. My foundation is all blended out, so I'm going to use this concealer once again, the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. And I'm actually going to draw a line where I want my eyeshadow to kind of end and just give it like that sharp, you know, the sharp. You guys know what I'm saying, that sharp, crisp, clean cut, whatever you want to call it. Using that Real Techniques Beauty Sponge to blend it all in. Back 
into this Mega Glow Contouring Palette from Wet n Wild. I'm going to take that lighter shade, and this one's in the color Dulce de Leche, if you guys are wondering. Um, and I'm just going to set my under eyes with that. Using my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, I'm going to bronze up my cheekbones and just contour a little bit. I'm sharpening up my cheekbones a little bit more, so I'm going to go back in with this darker color because this one's the lighter bronzer. I'd be fine if I could find my darker bronzer, brown, bronzer, bronzer, but you know. For blush, I'm sure you guys already know which one I'm going to use. It's my Milani Luminoso. Damn, this thing is dirty. Um, and I'm just going to use that. So now for brows, I'm using this NYX Micro Brow Pencil. Ay Dios mio, I can't talk. NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color taupe. Just drew my brow like 20 feet above my brow. Back into this eyeshadow palette, I'm going to use this blush. What the f? I don't know why you guys would ever subscribe to me considering I mess up every five seconds and you can't even understand me and I'm trying to speak English and I just can't. <laughs> okay, I just can't. Um, so I'm going to use this highlight shade right here. And since we're back onto this palette, I'm going to take the middle plum shade that we used as like our second transition shade. I'm just gonna smoke out my lower lash line. And now on my inner corner and my brow bone, I'm going to take, what color should I use? This highlighting shade as well. For mascara on my lower lashes, I'm using this Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Last but not least, moving on to the lips, I'm going to use this ColourPop um, lip, lip pencil, what am I saying? A lip liner in the color 951, it's from the I Love Sarah collection. Uh, and then the lipstick I'm going to use is also from Essence and it's the color Nude Love. This look might actually start being at my go-to look for this fall because I'm obsessed. I didn't even do winged eyeliner, guys. This is a huge deal for me because I do winged eyeliner every time and if I don't, I feel so ugly. And I think these lashes just like changed my life because I'm going to use them all the time. And I'm gonna try and not do a wing all the time now because I feel like y'all get so bored of it, but it's like, like even when I go to the gym, a wing. When I go grocery shopping, a wing. When I go shoe shopping, a wing. Like. No matter what, I always wear a wing because if not, then I feel so ugly. But y'all get the point. I hope you guys enjoyed this look using all... Oh, wait, setting spray. How could I forget my setting spray? This is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. And I'm going to... Choke and die on it. Thank you guys so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.